nine degrees. Told you it was going to get hot. Uh, our high was 25, so we've gone past that somewhat. It is a Monday, February 19th, and believe me, the man I've got with you to, uh, with me today is uh, absolutely brilliant. I, I've just had a little tour of his house. We had here that he comes out of Nashville. No, that's wrong. He comes out of Ohio. Yes, Shane Runyon is joining us right after these messages. So Shane, um, being a cold, being a cold day, um, being winter time, are you in the recording studios at the moment? Actually, we uh, put the album out last summer, and um, during CMA Fest, I was uh, named emerging artist at CMA Fest. I and, see uh, this. I, I, I've got this written down here, and believe me, I, I'm very, very uh, proud to be in the company of a CMA artist. Believe me. <laughs> Oh man, I'm stoked to be with you guys, but uh, very much. But no, man, we uh, we put our album out in um, June, and uh, I, I keep writing new things. But uh, um, the behind the scenes, if you will, is uh, the, the the folks on my team are telling me to to hold off on new music until we've given tattoos some time to breathe. You know. Sure, sure. And, and so we're we're kind of holding off, but but I'm uh, definitely excited to. Uh, to be working on some new stuff and my brain's been kind of thinking of what's that next sound going to be you know yeah yeah i get that i really really do um <clears throat> i gotta let you know uh, not only am i a radio announcer but i'm a, an engineer as well i used to work in studios have done live stuff around the world with some really big bands uh without name dropping and um, yeah, believe me, I, I, oh, I sit to and listen to your music <laughs> and I don't listen to it as a fan would listen to it. I listen to it as an engineer would listen to it. Yeah, and, cool. and quite frankly, I can't fault your music. I absolutely love it. Oh, well, thanks, man. I appreciate that very, very much. I, I really do. Um, now, there's a process though, you see, which is really, really cool. We get about 30 to 50 bands a day get in touch with us wanting to get promotions on the radio, get played on the radio, uh, then go to the interviews, and then possibly to the magazine. Oh, by the way, has Barbara ever spoken to you about the magazine? Has what? Barbara spoken to you about the magazine? We're partnered with the yeah. magazine. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> well, we, we have a partner in Pennsylvania called Crank It Up Magazine. Uh, they have between two and three million subscribers. Wow. It's, it's an online magazine. Uh, which we're trying really, really hard to convince them to put into hard copy as well, if you know what I mean. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. Really, really would. Um, but John Rain, who owns the magazine, he um, makes movies uh, for Warner Brothers and for um, Universal Studios, Bollywoods, all of that sort of stuff. And Very cool. In fact, his, uh, one of his best friends is Quentin Tarantino, so he's right in there with yeah. the movies. Oh, no doubt. So within the magazine, we have a, a section called Indie Garage, and everybody that we interview uh, sooner or later will go through there. Uh, they've just done a pilot series of about six, I think, in the first pilot series, which is going to Fox TV for about 105 million people to view. That's neat, man. Wow. We want to get you in there as well. Oh, that'd be great. So uh, just want that. When, when we do an interview, we automatically pass that straight through to Crank It magazine crank it up and um, they it's not a given that everybody gets into any part of it but with our yeah. recommendations we try our best to make sure that that happens well that's cool well thanks i'm honored man and that sounds like you guys have some incredible stuff going on for y'all this is that's really awesome well i tell you what uh, tomorrow i'm going to auckland to meet up with my partner in auckland and uh, we're looking at acquiring about 100 acres of land for the purposes of having concerts on. 
Oh, that'd be sick, man. That'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And believe me, um, we, we do concerts here. Barbara's the uh, CEO of uh, Aurora Entertainments, which brings bands into the country and uh, right. play them up and down. Mostly the bigger centres, but, you know, we do little little towns and little cities from time to time, depending on what the market is. Yeah, well, that's awesome, dude. That's so exciting, man. I'll talk to you about that because uh, we're, we're actually going to go down the road of trying to get you here in New Zealand. We think you're that good. Well, thanks, man. As I was saying, that's, uh, you know, I, I have a uh, half passport, we'll travel, man, so y'all just let me know. Nice. Hold on. I think we better go to the desk. Yeah, yeah I think so. <laughs> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and it is a, a real pleasure, I've got to be honest with you, catching up with Shane Runyon coming out of Ohio, not Nashville, but Ohio. Pleased to meet you sir and uh, thank you for taking the time out of your evening now, about 5 o'clock over there, to talk to us here down under in New Zealand. Dude, it's my pleasure, I'm so excited to be talking to you, it's really it. Well, I tell you what, uh, you're not alone, there is actually, and uh, I'm just going to do a quick stats check, uh, count here, uh, 6,328,000 people have joined us for our conversation, no pressure. Well, no, you are talking to one guy. The rest of them are just voyeurs. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. And some of them, are, uh, some of the places that really, really interest me is uh, people coming out of Latvia. I love that country, Latvia, to listen to us today. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I tell you what, Lagos is right, uh, right in there as well, so uh, Africa's joined in as well. <laughs> How's that? That's so cool, man. That's so awesome. It really, really is. Now, Shane, uh, we haven't, uh, and believe me, I've got screeds and screeds of information here, but we don't have a lot about you, so we're going to wing it all the way through, so, and I think they make for the better interviews, don't you? Exactly, exactly. It's, it's a good platform for us to have a bit of fun with. Uh, now, I love you that much. I, I've got to ask you, how did you come up with the lyrics of that song? Um, the, the little bit of the backstory was actually I remember when I was first 
and so ultimately it's a it's a, a promise it's a it's a token of my love toward my wife you know, uh, I speak to a lot of songwriters, and uh, one in particular pops to mind when you said about uh, how uh, uh, how quickly uh, the whole song came together. Uh, he's been saying to me for many, many years, you know, my best song that I ever wrote uh, was done on a, uh, uh, a McDonald's napkin. You know, in five minutes over, over a bit of uh, McDonald's and a, uh, and a Coke. He says, you know, I have spent an entire whole lifetime trying to put together that one song again you know it, it is just not that easy to do he says i work with a lot of writers who have the same dream you know the one that you write on the napkin is the best one ever and you just can't do it again it's so true and you know i think that that is proof that uh, music is not just about writing it's about being able to Absolutely, I fully understand where you're coming from, and believe me, uh, having spoken to so many artists over my career, uh, it all comes down to the same thing, doesn't it? What you're doing, what you're feeling, and how to express it at that time. Uh, not necessarily where you are, but it's always nice to be in a nice place doing it at the same time, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh, you're a uh, CMA emerging artist. Uh, now tell me about that. How did you get involved with the CMAs? Second time. 
You know, uh, I get it. I really, really do. And those people at the CMA, they can see something in you that we can see here at Galaxy, and that's just pure talent. We know you're going to be a superstar in no time at all. Uh, now, I, I, just before we uh, really, really get into this, i, I got to give a big shout-out to Steve Baker. Uh, believe me, great mate of ours here at Galaxy. Uh, and uh, yeah. nice to see that you're associated with him. Also, let's give a shout-out to the person in the background of your career, to your wife, your lovely wife, Jessie. We've got, we got to give her a, a, a good shout-out because without the people behind the scenes that make a superstar, you know, the superstars never would be, would they? Well, you know, I applaud you for your choice and uh, partner, I really, really do. Uh, and at the same time, uh, it props up to Jessie because, believe me, uh, it is not easy being a wife to an artist as well. So, uh, yeah, absolutely well done there to Jessie. Now, at the same time, I, I've got to ask you, uh, uh, there we go. Hello, Jessie. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. I love your accent. Yeah, well, I might as well, Jesse, would you grab me my way over there? I might as well show you the rest of the family while, while we're here. Absolutely. Now, I, speaking of your bus, I actually have seen a photo of your bus. You're standing at the front of it with a, uh, a, a love, all the stencil on it. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, now, uh, I presume you'd be doing a few uh, kilometres, a few miles in that uh, thing around the country.
I painted the, the walls on the inside the same color as our house. Because um, I thought, man, we, who knows how much we're going to be in this thing. And uh, so we made it feel very cozy, made it feel like home. And so we put a lot of miles on, like we said, but it feels like home. It's cozy. We share it with people. If you were here in the States with us, we'd have you on it, travel with us if you want to go see a show. Well, I, I would. I would absolutely be honoured to be quite honest with you and uh, to be able to tour around with you. Uh, there's a number of other bands that have invited me to do the same thing. You never know, I might be able to get a radio tour happening uh, with, with some live bands in some live places. In fact, uh, one band invited us to go to Sturgis with them uh, this year. So, uh, yeah, I, I want to make that one. I really, really do. But I, I want to get back to uh, country music. And uh, I've got to ask you, being in Nashville, have you been to the Grand Old Opry? Have you performed on there yet? Yes. And so when you go into it, it's now a music venue. But at one time it was a church, so uh, you know you're spinning, listening to your music in church views. It's a very, uh, it, it's a very neat experience to be in there. It's, there's definitely a vibe. There's a, a feeling about being there that's different than anywhere else. Well, I don't let you know that I've been in the Grand Old Opry myself. Uh, my favourite place literally is behind the stage, behind the curtain, that little walkway there. Absolutely love that place. You, you had, in fact, I had people trying to pull me away because I'd spent so much time there. Just drinking in the ambience of just that little walkway and the famous people that have gone up and down that walkway. Uh, for me, that's the pinnacle of the Grand Old Opry, for sure. Oh, believe me, I have so much respect, uh, especially for a lot of venues and, and some high-profile venues, I've got to admit, uh, some not so much, but uh, at the same time, the ambience of the place and who has actually played there in the past, you know, you can just feel it with the Opry, can't you? You know, uh, I fully agree with you, my friend. I really, really do. Uh, music City, what can you say? <laughs> really, uh, it, it is the mecca of country music, and, and what a place to be. Uh, I've spent a bit of time there myself, so believe me, I know exactly what you're saying. Now, I've got voices in my head saying, come on, Grant, time to move on a bit. So I, I want to talk to you about That's Right. Uh, how did that come to be? Okay. I had that in my pocket, and I thought, oh, this is 
Okay, yeah, you know, it, what better napkin than a corkboard? <laughs> uh, a chalkboard. Anyway, right here at Galaxy 107 FM, joined by Jane Runyon. That's right. I love this song. I love this song, I do. I gotta be honest with you, Shane, I love this song. Thanks, man. Thanks. I, I really do. I like something that's got a bit of the heartbeat, you know what I mean? Um, and I like good old boys that don't just sing about their broken ass trucks and their broken marriages, you know what I'm saying? No, no. Yeah, this is just about a good time, that's it, man, just a good time. Exactly, and what could be better? Yeah, I mean, yeah. why sing about the sad broken shit in the, in the world? Why not have some fun? That's right, yeah, man, yeah. Um, if you see me from time to time sort of glance away or something like that, either I've got somebody talking to me in my ear, uh, which oh, no um, you might have seen a, a, a pink-haired lady just pop in just moments ago, who is my wife, by the way? Um, she's my she's my producer. She sits behind me and she's talking to me all the time. Other than that, you might see me laugh from time to time. Uh, Barbara's trying to put me off. <laughs> say no more, honestly. She's pulling faces and everything. Uh, she just tests to see how good I am sometimes. So uh, <laughs> if you well, that's what the whole deal is about. Right, that's right. Yeah, I agree. And everybody feeds off that. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. So um, what we're going to talk about next, and this is a very important question because uh, sure. what we do is we, before we uh, start interviewing somebody, we actually throw it over to our audiences to give us some questions they might like us to ask the uh, recipient. So uh, the awesome. next. The question that I think is most relevant is are you on Facebook, are you on Twitter, are you on Instagram and can the fans get hold of you, do you respond? That's a huge oh. question. Dude, I'm, I'm so into that. Yeah, I respond to everybody. Nice, nice. Because uh, I'm sure the fans these days, they like to know that they can have a little bit of you as well. Uh, you know, share you with uh, Jesse, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I agree, yeah, you know, 100%, yeah, and I, I make a personal uh, point to, to to respond to each person myself. Nice, so let's go back to the desk. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, joined by Shane Runyon, coming out of Ohio, and uh, a little cool over there today, about 4 degrees there, uh, at, which is uh, Celsius, uh, while we're on 30 degrees Celsius, so uh, vast difference, and uh, believe me, uh, it's always fun talking to an artist, uh, a little impromptu, so uh, first of all, uh, I see here, his past releases have uh, topped European and Australian charts, so you know where Australia is then, Shane? Are you, are you into a little something funky then when it comes to eating stuff? Well, I, I have a rule, which is that I will try anything. <laughs> and, 
I love this. I, I really do, because uh, guess what? We, we, uh, our indigenous folks here of New Zealand are the Maori, and uh, they, uh, from time to time, come up with some really quirky stuff to eat. Uh, in fact, have you ever heard of a hoo-hoo grub? Of a what? Hoo-hoo grub, spelled H-U-H-U. I have never known. Okay. Well, you must know about a caterpillar, right? Okay, well this is a caterpillar on steroids. It is huge. It really, really is. It's white, it's fat, and it has a black head. So what you do, and watch your wife's face when I describe this to you, because believe me, she's going to squint. Yeah, you know what I mean. What you do is you put the live body in your mouth, you bite off the head. Don't eat the head, it's yucky. But when you crunch down on this, it tastes like peanut butter. No. Yeah, it does. Creamy peanut butter, I kid you not. It is absolutely yummy. Now, let me ask you this. Do you cook it first or is it raw? No, it's raw. But I have had people ask me, can they put it in a bottle of tequila first? Absolutely. Let's do that too. Right, right. No, man, I've never tried. I tell you, I would, um, it, it would, it would be <laughs> well, it's about. I've only had one single food I've ever tried that I didn't like. Only one, and I've tried a lot of weird stuff. And the only food I don't know why I can't get past it is ox tongue. I can't get over ox tongue for some reason. Oh, okay. We we do eat that here as well, and. Uh... Uh, I, I get what you're saying. I, I kind of don't like it, to be quite honest, as well. But uh, I, I can do some really funky stuff, like maybe deep-fried um, uh, grasshoppers or something like that. I've done that before. Right. You know what I mean? I will try anything. So hopefully I'll get to come to New Zealand and eat one of your guys' uh, hoo-hoo grub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to try that because I've never tried it. Mutant caterpillar. I love that, too. <laughs> uh, and uh, talking of that, yes, we were going to approach this a little later on, but now is a good time to talk about it. We would love to have you down here, down under, in Aotearoa, New Zealand, uh, in front of Kiwi audiences. I, th I think the numbers warrant it. How would you feel about coming here? 